Hey, hey, bros. <laughs> Nailed it. Nailed it. Bulbasaur is the world's greatest Pokemon ever invented, and I'm going to tell you why. This is my name is Mo, and welcome to whatever this is called. Alright, Bulbasaur. He gets a lot of crap that he doesn't deserve. Alright? So shut up. Just kidding. You can think that. But I think you're wrong. Let's talk about some facts. When people get Charmander, they want a Charizard. That's why they get a Charmander. When people want Squirtle, it's because they want that giant Blastoise to be shooting them pumps. You know? When people pick Bulbasaur, most, I would argue, do not want Venusaur. Maybe most do, but I don't want Venusaur. He looks like a sleepy, wart-infested frog monster. Bulbasaur's third evolution might not be the coolest out of the three, but Bulbasaur is cool all by himself. Proof in the f episode where, in the anime, <laughs> where Bulbasaur is like, I don't want to evolve because I'm cool enough as I am because I'm Bulbasaur and I can uh, stay Bulbasaur and be happy. You know, if anyone ever saw that episode, it was the best. It teaches kids to just be themselves, that it's okay, you don't have to change to, to uh, please anyone, and Ash was cool with that, because that's what's up. And um, he learned Solar Beam, one of the most freaking epic grass moves you can ever learn, while still in stage one evolution, and he just kicks butt everywhere. He has a whole crew of Bulba buddies, and they get together and drop the hottest beats with their Bulba Bulba Bulbasaur song, which summons like forest spirits to come and pollinate the lands or something like that, according to my memory that I watched that episode 15 years ago. Bulbasaur is the best, and he doesn't deserve all this nonsense they be throwing at him, all this shade which is a Pokemon move, I think. Anyways, he's awesome, and I think you should like him. <laughs> now that you guys are thoroughly convinced that Bulbasaur is the greatest, let's talk about some memories about Pokemon that are uh, the moments. For me, something that always stuck out in my freaking nightmares is Lavender Town. As a kid, I would, uh, not want to play the game anymore <laughs> because it was too scary and once I got there uh, it took me a while to beat because I would play in increments of like 10 minutes because I was a frightened little girl one thing in particular that stands out to me is the lady that stands in front of Pokemon Tower where hilariously the producers of the game or developers whatever you call them decided to uh, scare me to my core. She asks you if you believe in ghosts. And I was playing this at night. And I was trying to be brave. And I told her no. Because I'm a brave little kid. And <laughs> she goes, oh, ha ha ha. I guess you're right. I must be imagining that white hand on your shoulder. What the freaking heck? Okay, you know, instantly just save and quit. Save and quit. Didn't play for like weeks. Um, on a lighter note, though, uh, in the anime, something that I always loved was Team Rocket. I don't know. Nothing in particular. Just Team Rocket doing things that just don't make sense and how their budgetary confinements always differ from every episode. Uh, they can have like a tank in one episode, but then in the next episode they have like a cardboard box. <laughs> That's I don't. Uh, Team Rocket blasting off again, and and that's it. <laughs>
clearly out of his element. He is lost, hungry and alone. Separated from his head, he must do what he can on his own. What the heck is that? What is that? Oh my gosh, what is going on? Oh, what? What is, he, what? is that a butt? What, what the? What? The, ch the child, he must survive. The predator, he's getting preyed on and, and, oh. Okay, he's, he's, he's just gone. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the beauty of nature. Welcome, my Crystal Ears, to another Pokemon Week episode. Today, we'll be having an adventure in Pokemon Snapland. Look at that cool sprite art. It kind of makes me want a demake of this game, just based on that cool sprite art. Let me go ahead and do a new game. If you save a new game, I'll previously save it. Blah blah. Yeah, that's fun. Look how cool he is. He's an actual character from the anime, right? I don't remember his name like at all, but I remember him being in the show for real. I don't know if it was like after the fact they made the game, or like, or he appeared in the show and then they stuck him in here for because why not? <laughs> Uh, where the heck is Y? Okay, there it is. These tiny little pixelated letters. Uh, if someone could tell me in the comments, uh, what his name was and, like, what the heck his role was, that'd be awesome. Because I don't remember, like, I, I remember him just seeing him on the show. Hey, Professor Oak! Hello there! Hello! I'm Oak, the Pokemon Professor! The reason I invited you here, uh, in this po uh, is this Pokemon report. I'd like for you to take pictures of Pokemon for the Pokemon report. Here on Pokemon Island, wild Pokemon can be found everywhere. I think, I feel like Poke Park was also based on a place called Pokemon Island. So I don't know if that's a thing. This is my new invention, the Zero One Vehicle. You can take this on your trip. The Zero One Vehicle constantly moves toward the Gold Gate. Shall I repeat this information? Nope. I got it. I'll teach you how to take pictures in the first course. I'm counting on your crystal. Yep, right. Well, let's go do the tutorial level. Look at us. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh. What a sunny beach. It looks great. I should get some awesome shots there. That doesn't rhyme. Picture guy. Alright, let's do it. Uh, maybe later. Yes. I'm just kidding. Woo! Perp the pink orb of transportation. This is some advanced technology. Alright, I know how to play the game. I'm just gonna... hi -ya! And... Headshot! multi kill. Try to take a lot of Pokemon pictures, so that's the point of the game, isn't it? Oh, wait, wait, oh, no, oh. I knew that was gonna happen, but I wasn't prepared. Eh, yo! What's good? What's up, Pikachu? Yeah, show me that, show me that little Pikachu butt! Yeah! <laughs> Alright, so I think there's some really, uh, really special places for, uh, for Lapras to show up. I don't remember which ones they are, though. Also, is Kingler over here? Yeah, he was totally over here. I kind of missed my chance shot, but it doesn't really matter. He doesn't care about them right now. Cause even if even if I got the chance shot of that monument, that Pokemon monument, he wouldn't even care. Uh, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, I uh, I will try. Whoop! I didn't actually expect snoring for some reason. I don't have any pester balls. Yo, what's good, Meowth? Throw me some moolah up in here. Give me some luck, some cashola. Guess he's not feeling very generous today. Meow. I think this is, that sounds like the actual voice actor, which I wouldn't be surprised. They probably just use the clip. I don't know if they would waste. It. Oh, oh! I think this is a special, special move. Special move. Oh wait, Lapras. Eh, eh, eh. Not bad. But I think I know. I think I remember. Oh, I think some. Uh, I think Pidgey, uh, Pidgey was actually wrecking me off back there. But I, I think I remember I, I, I think I remember that really cool spot for for a bunch of lapras showing up. And if I'm not wrong, it's actually right here. Let's see, let's see. There's one here. I'm almost done. I got an itchy trigger finger. Mmm. Huh. I guess not. Kind of missed that doo doo though. Doo doo. -o. Get out of my way. Get out of my way, honk honk. I mean. You know, the, in the Pokedex entries, you always hear talk about, like, 
example, this Pokemon feeds on his prey because blah blah blah. Aha, here we go. There's one there that's pretty good. But I think there's one that shows up... Maybe if I had a Pester Ball, or like an Apple. I think that's when it would be a good idea. I'm not even gonna... Well, I guess I'll just go ahead and do that. Just for the records. Just for the records. I think there's a quick turnaround button. There it is. Now I know what I'm doing. Now you're cooking with fire. I, I press the C buttons to spin my head around on 360 axis. Yeah! Yeah! I got, I got a couple of those on the center. Because you know, Mr. Pokemon Professor is very picky about his centered pictures. Who knew he was such a... Such a photography buff. Alright, let's see how well we did in this first round. I basically took the whole roll, really. Why, why does it slow down midway? Like, you know what I took? Oak's Mark. Sure. Alright, so, let's see what we got. Uh, should I show this to Professor Oak? Uh, I mean, it's not that great. I'll show this one, I guess. Uh, oh, I like how it only shows me the ones of that specific Pokemon. This one's pretty nice and centered, and, uh, just his face being there, so why the heck not? So, I used to play this a lot when, when me and my brother were kids. I don't remember if my sister also joined in the fun, but we, we loved this game. We played this a lot, and, uh, we owned it. And actually, I think one of the things that sold us on it is because uh, there's this really awesome like kiosk thing in a blockbuster near us, and it was literally like this. Uh, it kind of looked like an arcade machine, but um, I think I have one of Pidgey attacking me. Uh, it it kind of looked like an arcade machine, but you, it was just uh, Pokemon Snap. And no, I don't want that. Actually, I, I regret that. I don't want that one. Let me see. I need close-ups. This is best. This is as good as that gets. Might as well be a mythical creature that doesn't exist, because that's hardly any proof of evidence. Pick that, cause why not? Probably gonna get like five points. Anyways, there's like a cool kiosk in our uh, blockbuster, and it and it's only for Pokemon Snap. And when you play, and when you play Pokemon Snap on it, it would print out the pictures you took. And uh, you chose like a few of your favorites or something, and it literally prints them out as uh, stickers. And we did that a couple times, and we loved it. And actually, recently, since uh, recently, I remembered about it, and uh, I remembered it, and uh, I looked on eBay to see if like if uh, anyone was selling like one of those kiosk things on eBay. And I think I saw one, but that was like three thousand dollars. <laughs> That's not even like possible at all for me. But I mean. I'd be kind of willing to if I had the money because I really... It's just a mess. It's like a chunk of my childhood right there. Let's see. 270 points. Mm, it's so-so. How's the pose? Hey, 50 points. Eh, that's not very good. You were close. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Professor Pokemon Man. You're such a freaking savant at photography, I'm sure. That's why they call you the Pokemon Professor, not the Photography Professor. 620 points! 800 points! Alright, it's very nice. What, what, how, how do you make up these points, by the way? You just look at a picture and calculate your professor brain? And just be like, I can double a score for you! Because of this technique! I think when he mentions technique, it's just the fact that it's centered. This Butterfree, how's the size? How's your ISO settings? What is your F-stop? <laughs> how's the pose? Hmm, it's so-so. Okay, what's my technique, professor? Yeah, it's just the middle of the thing. It doesn't really do anything. I don't think it has any special poses. Let's see what we got here. This is Meowth! How's the size? It's fine. Ooh, okay, cool. I got a new I got one. It wasn't named though. You know you hit you hit it big when he named the pose. It's like, oh! This is the Pikachu that slaps his bootay. Alright, let's see what's Lapras. 250 points! Not very good. This is a relaxed pose. Oh yeah, I, I can tell from here. Um, let's see what the blah blah blah. Not bad actually, 25 grand. Well, not grand, 2500. This is Kangash Khan, one of my favorite Pokemon. <laughs> Do you remember how I said I have like a million favorite Pokemon? It's true. I have a lot of favorite Pokemon. But I will stand by my Buizel, uh any day of the week. Wow. But I would have a lot of. What the? Wow, isn't this the Gust using Pidgey? The Gust using Pidgey of Legend! It was prophesized from the day I was born, inscribed on my back with the blood of my ancestors. 
The gust using Pidgey would be found oh, this house. day for 850 points. Oh, 900, never mind. Ooh, watch out. I got 900 points. Wait, Crystal, let's return to the lab. I got special technology to share with you in my cool lab coat. It's my basically my scientist's uh, certification. I'll help you out once you have more Pokemon pictures. Good luck, Crystal. Oh, I have a ranger so that you can see the Pokemon report. I can look at a book now? Thanks so much, Professor Oak. Oops, I didn't actually want to do this. I don't, I don't really care about my Pokemon report right now. Uh, so... Not really sure what he said, because I skipped, like, the first half of that text. But let's try again. Oh, never mind. There used to be a power plant in this long, dark tunnel. I can't wait to check it out. Yes. Well, I guess let's do that, though. Why the heck not? I'm just a child on a mission. Scouring on an abandoned whatever this is. Okay, so we need to take consecutive pictures of Pikachu here. Or else... Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, baby. That's what's up. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait. Oh... Oh, killer move. Oh, dang it, I missed my electabuzz shots. But I did get the the Pikachu rolling ball of legend inscribed on my back. Okay. There's some Kakuna. Oh, I think I know how to... Okay, I, I remember the opportunity. Oh, when this blows up, Kakuna fly from the sky. Not many this time, though. Oh, ah, dang it. Wait, let me get, let me get Electro. Eh. <coughs> Electro. Buzz. Boom. There it is. Mm, no Kakuna. No good shots, anyway. The heck, these guys are materializing into the freaking ceilings? Oh, wait, wait. I see one. I see one. Oh, got him. Perfect technique. Hey, sup, dude? Alright, see you later, buddy. Uh, ah! Oh, ho, ho. watch me, sharpshooter. Call me Deadeye. Deadshot. Both of those. Why not? What's up, buddy? Yo, what's up? Get over here. Get over here. Well, actually, I need the Poke Flute to, for that to even matter. Aha! Now this is one of my favorite Gen 1 Ghost Pokemon. Uh, I'm trying to see if I can get a clear shot. Uh, uh, dang it. Uh, yeah, I got it. Okay, let me try it. Let me try a couple more times. I think uh, Magikarp just happened behind me. Yes, yes. Yes, yes, y'all. You don't stop. There it is. All right, I got a, good, a couple good shots of that. I'll go ahead and say... I'll go ahead and not say what it is. For on the off chance that you don't know what it is. So it'll be a surprise for you. All right, whatever. Big goop. Oh, I remember these diglets. All right, I'm gonna ignore what's happening behind me, and do that because we're gonna do a couple runs of each stage, anyways. And uh, there's so many things to see in every stage. There it is, Doug Trio. Yeah, you get down there too, big guy. All right, and yeah, that's what I want. All right, one more, one more. I think there's one more, right? Am I wrong? Yeah, right in the face. This is a little too close, actually. All right, cool. And back here, uh, cool things will happen once we visit back with uh, our necessary uh, uh, technology. All right, so this is also a part of the uh, secret monument. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go on. Uh, go ahead and call them secret monuments. That that little section right there is also part of whatever that is. Uh, whoa! I forgot about that. That kind of scary. Yo, you need to chill? Chill out a little bit? What the heck kind of... Why Why don't you want to be part of my Pokemon report? You you answered my Craigslist ad, right? You want some portfolio pictures, and I want some portfolio pictures. Let's just help each other out for no pay. Come on! I'm a cool guy. I'm a nice guy. Well, I guess the... Yeah, the only thing I can do with these guys is if I had an apple. And, uh... Well, that's about it. That's that's the tunnel for you. Wait, what's this place called? Is it called tunnel or cave? Either way, it's you know, it's over. Zero one activates. Those are cool gates. There's a lot of advanced technology going on right now for 1996. All right, let's see. I got. I don't know because I kind of you know skipped it, but uh, I should probably do some album marking. All right, so that's the Pikachu from the last stage. And I can probably beat it with one of these. Because I'm pretty sure it's one of those legendary, legendary prophesized pictures. I'll pick this one. This is pretty cute. And, uh, I think of Electrode, I'll probably go with that one. Probably go with that one. Or this, actually. 
I'm not too sure about my technique here, though. I don't know if it's centered. I like to play this kind of just dead, but why not? Some accident pictures of, uh, of, uh, I like to buzz. I mean, this is all that this is anyways. Perfect shot. I'm just training. Ah, uh, here's the po- here's the, here's the ghost Pokemon of, of secrecy. If you can't tell, it's Haunter! Haunt, haunt, haunt! I always loved him, especially in the show. He did some crazy stuff. This is a pretty good one right there. I like this one a lot, though. I'll probably mark it for the album. Keep that right there. And let's see what else we got. Okay, we got a couple Diglets. This one's a de decent little Diglett shot. And we got a bunch of Dictrios, and I'm gonna need to... I mean, this one... I mean, this one might fetch the most points, but personally, it's not really all that great. But I feel like maybe it'll give me a bunch of points. So I'll go ahead and do that. I choose this. Actually, I don't know. I'm second-guessing my choice here, to be honest. I'll go ahead and uh, do that one. Why not? So let me go ahead and do a run-through and pick an album shot. That's not going to give me any actual points in his uh, report, but... That's why I'll save it in my personal collection. What? I have a picture of him looking like that? Dude. Give me that. Which did I, what did I pick? This one? Heck nah. That one looks like way closer and awesome and centered. Dude, check that out. Heck yeah. This, this should be good. There's also a Pikachu in the background chilling. Straight chilling. Alright, let's go. Let's do it. Let's hit it up. Professor Oak's check. Tunnel course. Hmm, what's new this time? Pikachu, wow. isn't this po Pikachu on a ball? It's Pikachu on a ball, you guys. Let's see, 600 points right off the bat. Pretty good size. What? Come on, it's a pretty good size. Well, I guess maybe Pikachu is fine or unfine. A thousand points, very nice. How's the technique? Okay, the Pokemon's right in the middle of the frame. All right, and I can double the score for you. Well done. Not bad at all. 3,880. I don't remember, but that might be the best shot. Let me see, this is Electrode! How's the size? 530? Sweet. Oh, it's dead! 12,000 million points for your dead Pokemon pictures. He's gonna love the Electabuzz one. Wow. Alright. That didn't quite beat the last one, though. The other one did, did like 38, so this one's 35. Ah ha ha! Per this is a perfect specimen for my dead Pokemon collection! It's so so. Oh dear, it's fainted. Oh, he's concerned. He's concerned, Akas. Alright, not bad at all either. Kakuna. Alright. Okay. I mean, how can a Kakuna pose, really? It's Wonderful. like... It doesn't have limbs. It's just a little thing on a string. Zubat! I only, got, I only took one Zubat picture. And it was dead on in the center. I'm a little bit proud, I must say. Okay, the Pokemon is in the right in the middle. I can double the score. Wonderful. Wow, 3,000. That's awesome. Yeah, Hunter! Hunter, Hunter! How's the size? 730, sweet. How's the pose? Let's check it out. Hey, it's a pretty cool pose. I mean, you know, it's just sort of standing there. Uh, Wonderful. right. I like it. Let's see, this is Diglett! It's kind of weird how he, I take pictures of Diglett and he just evolves underground. He's powered by my free service of picture taking. I'll email them to you later, Diglett. I'll email you these high quality headshots for your acting gigs. It's about to pop up! I kind of already did, but you know, I don't mind. I don't mind you giving me more credit for something like that. There are other Ducturio in the picture. I'll give you an extra 350 points. Wow, that, now that might be my, per my best shot. It's at least my best shot in this round. All right. Wait. Wait, Crystal. Let's return to the lab. I've got super high-tech technology back. to give to you. Yep. To make your work easier. Blah blah blah. All right. What did you invent for me uh, this time, Professor Oak? You gave, you've given me a really awesome versatile vehicle. Uh, I'm teleporting to and fro. I have a camera. What are you gonna make this time? Oh my gosh! It's Apple. You must be the next Tony Stark. It's easy to use because of apples. Oh no, he's giving me an apple product. Watch out, everyone. Shall I repeat this information? No, why would you stop it? I can hear things, alright? Alright, so, uh, let's see, what am I gonna do? Let's go, you know, let's keep the, let's keep the ball rolling. Yes. I'm gonna find the next new area. 
I'm gonna try and get as close as I can to the final area of the game uh, in this single video. Let's see how far I can go. I'm just gonna kind of speed run Pokesnap, although that's not really not my strong suit. Here you go, buddies. Have a little piece of piece. Of, uh, have a little iPhones. Have a little Max for you. They're really they're really high tech. They can show video and they can take pictures. Excuse me, you like the buzz? What are you doing, sir? Alright, I don't want him to stop me. I, I might be stopped, though. Uh, okay, now you might want to speed it up. Okay, alright, well, no, no major problems. I just want a picture of him being alive. I think I can take a picture of uh, some Kakuna if I smack him a little bit with some apples. Oh, come on, stop being such a little wuss. Oh, come on, where's the Kakuna? There's no Kakuna falling from the skies. Come on. Give me the Kakuna. Hey, there they are. Heck yeah, that was a good one. Alright, not bad at all. Alright, I still need the Poke Flute. Uh, I should probably be able to get some uh, fish Pokemon. What even is that, by the way? A water purifier of some sort? I'm gonna go ahead and keep throwing some food down here. Yo, where the fish at? Where the fish at? Wow, I'm literally not getting anything. Well, let's try this little pond here. Fish. Oh, uh, 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 yeah, I got him. All right, let's try some more. Let's try some more. Come on, come on. I already got Honda and Zubat, so I'm not really worried about that. Come on, buddy. Come on, little baby. It's your favorite fishy food, apples. It's actually Pokemon food shaped like apples. But, I mean, why wouldn't Pokemon eat apples? <laughs> Does it really have to be specifically Pokemon food? Alright, let's see what happens if I throw them, throw some apples over here. I feel like something should happen if I smack them with apples. Okay, yeah, okay, cool. So he gets pit. oh, he gets pissed off. I should probably take a picture of his action pose next time. So I'm gonna go ahead and... Oh, wow, that was actually really just straight up a headshot. That was, that was a little, that was a little tactical edge for you. Okay, boom, there you go. Okay, so that tells us that we need to feed the Electabuzzes. Uh, I think that's all we need to do for that to turn on, or am I wrong? Is there another Electabuzz I should have been worried about, or... Yo, turn it on! Turn on thing! Uh, that's actually weird. It, usually when the Electabuzz is like smack stuff, they turn this on. Gonna have to investigate that later. Actually, I almost forgot. I need to smack Electabuzz. Not, not like the was electro. There it is. I got him. Okay, let's see if I can. Ah, I was trying to. I try. I was trying to like get a really clutch. Uh. Oh, trying to get a clutch picture at the end there. Oh my gosh. I, I can't believe my pol my polygonal face. Can't believe it. Kind of surprised I'm such an expert with this vehicle, and it's my first day of using it. But there you go. We unlocked the next area. Hold your horses there. All right, let's see. I don't, I don't think I need another one, but uh, let's try. Actually, this one looks kind of legit. Let's try that. I might win out on that. And then these Kakuna pictures are top notch. I must say, I must say, impeccable work. This is pretty good. And uh, uh, eh, the poses are pretty cool, but a little far away. I shouldn't have been so perfect. At my uh, my apple toss. All right, let's see. Professor Oak, check tunnel course. Wow! Isn't this the Pikachu on a ball? I've never seen this before. It's so unique. All right. What? Well, still so so? It's so it's close. It's like really close and stuff. But I think I still beat out the other one. Oh uh, yeah! All right, cool. Not bad. Not bad. Me. Pat myself on the back. And I finally got a decent Kakuna. Thousand? What the heck pose is it doing? <laughs> oh, there's also multiple Kakunas, so there's that's good. 730, heck yeah. Well done. Thank you, man. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Alright, I got a, a pretty decent magic card, but he's just kind of you know looking the other way though. It splashed! The most Wonderful. useful Pokemon move in the Pokemon universe. Alright, let's see what's up. 380? Well it is tiny. It looks angry. Alright, middle of the frame. What? Ah oh, man, really? The other guy's just like laying on the floor being dead. I mean, I'll keep the one that's better. For my honor. All right, he's got another little something something for me. What you got? Welcome back. Yes, hello. 
Crystal, you found a split in the path. According to my research, that split should link to a new cause. I've also made a link from my lab. You should go right away. Well, you work pretty freaking quick there, buddy boy. You might be smarter than you even let off, dude. I mean, I know you're labeled the Pokemon yes. professor, but you just invented a bunch of teleportation technology. You should probably be a little bit more famous and rich and stuff. Well, what am I talking about? That was pretty. That was pretty nice. I gotta say. I think I need a pester ball, and then I need to throw it in there into the lava. I don't think there's any lava fish. Oh, dude, they should make a. F oh my gosh. What if they made a hybrid Pokemon of fire and water, and it's a fish thing that lives in the lava? Well, I guess that doesn't make sense because uh, it doesn't really classify as a water type. It just lives in lava. But still. It was kind of a cool idea. Alright, Vulpi. Come on, Vulpies. Gather up. Gather around. Gather around, Vulpi. I like it. I like it. Alright, let's see. I don't think Moltres is in here, right? Yeah, I think Moltres is literally just... You're, you're just forced. You're obligated to just take a picture of Moltres. Because, first of all, he's always in his egg, apparently. Like, you got hatched. You don't have to dehatch yourself again every time I come here I mean it's I I, uh, I admire your courtesy of dehatching yo I probably should have taken a picture of that holy I forgot about that yo he just passed out that's what's up yo get over here man I got some food for you get over here yeah he's literally pushing magmar <laughs> super slow oh yeah I used to uh, I used to always have so much fun with this area right here so Moltres' egg is right here, right? He stops you right here, and what I would do always, what me and my brother would always do, is have a lot of fun with these guys. We would throw an infinite amount of food at them, because, you know, I just have a, uh, a black hole pocket that dispenses apples for days. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Dance for me, my Charmanders. Yo, chill. <laughs> And then this is what we would do. We would throw apples and they would just play volleyball with the apples. <laughs> I know they're not actually playing volleyball, but I love it. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, well, let's go. Get out of my way, you darn tootin' legendary Pokemon. That was actually a little scary. You startled me, Moltres. Woo! I think I got decent shots of that. Alright, I think this is another uh, chance pose. Fight for your food! Fight for me! That shouldn't be so effective. He literally got passed out in the first shot. Or not, he's totally fine. He's back! Off the floor, folks! We thought it was a one-head KO, but no! Okay, this is the one area where there's actually water. Oh, wait, I think he, I think I should probably shoot apples into those craters? Or is it pester balls? Yeah, I'm thinking it's pester balls. Pretty sure I'm making the shots. And uh our old friend Charmander, or not Charmander, Charmeleon. Oh total. Hiya! Yeah, that's right. What you got for me? Yeah! Yeah! In your face! Aha. Actually, should I should I do the I'm about to teleport, but I think I think a speedrun of strat is to run out of film. Yeah, and then you immediately get teleported out. Yeah, speedrun of strats. Cause I'm speedrunner pro, yo. I should contemplate actually doing some sort of Pokesnap speedrun. Cause I feel like I'm pretty good at this. I think I'm pretty good at this, you guys. All right, so we got some uh, po rapid ashes. This one's kind of farther away, but there's an extra in the background, so I feel like maybe I'll get some more points. So let's go for that. We got some Vulpi, some Vulpixes, Vulpixes. These guys are frolicking pretty happily there. Go ahead and do that. Happy little, happy little dudes. Uh, these are of Magmar, and I think the ones later are better. Yeah, one of these, one of these, I'm sure. Um, yeah, sure, we're not engulfed in flames. Got some Charizards. That one's pretty legit. That was legitness. I choose you. What else we got? I know we got some Charmanders. Where are the where are the Charmanders at? Did I skip over them? Okay, yeah, heck yeah, we need some Moltres up in here. Pretty sure that's the one that's... That's the ticket. Pretty sure that's the ticket right there. Oh my gosh, look at all these Charmanders. <laughs> yeah, Apple Party, yeah. The release of the new Apple iPhone is out, you guys. Oh my gosh, get in line, get in line. Ah! 
It's hectic. I'm just gonna pick a random one because they all seem pretty great. What's what's this? What am I looking at here? Oh, Charmeleon, right. I didn't take a picture of him. He's face planting. Why the heck not? He's planking everyone. Remember how cool planking was and how people died because of it? How awesome is that? That's part of our human history now. I'm so proud. <laughs> Okay, so let's see here. 800 points for that pose. Ooh, uh, she's looking fine. Double, wow. double fine. Same Pokemon. Wow. See, I, I told you. That's some pretty legit point totalage there. All right, Vulpix, what you got for me? How's the size? Four fit, four fifty, four fifty. All right, four fifty. Looks happy. One thousand points. Cool, cool. And right in the middle of fame and multiple uh, Vulpix. 660. Whoa, that's a huge number count there. What's my what's my highest one that I think that it is? It's like 4,010 or something like that. Charmeleon. He must have. It seems to have woken up. I think he's more laying down, not being awake. Professor Oak. You might want to check your eyeballs. Wonderful. My work is impeccable. Wow. I should be uh, I don't know getting paid for all this free work. By the way, what am I doing here? Why do you want a Pokemon, like, what's it called? A Pokemon album? You have a Pokedex filled with a whole, every Pokemon, wow. really. But, by, by now, like, in, in like a, in like a chronological order, you pick, you've played, we've played Pokemon Blue and Red and, and in some areas of the world, Green. And, uh, someone must have filled your Pokedex by now, dude. I don't know why you need pictures of them. Oh, what a wonderful pose. That's not a name for a pose. You gotta name these things, man. You gotta name them like One Piece Attack Moves. Gomu Gomu No. Gomu Gomu No. Wonderful. Wonderful. Wow. What else do I got? Isn't this fighting Magmar? That was also inscribed on my butt. Actually, I had a scar on the, my forehead that depicted the entire scene. I'm a walking, crazy prophet Pokemon wow. picture guy. It's intense. All right. Whoa. Four thousand six hundred forty. Thank you. I appreciate you. All right. <laughs> so okay, Charizard. It's not very good. What do you mean size is not very good? It's filling out the whole thing. What kind of rip? What kind of what kind of joint are you running here, buddy? Buster boy. I don't know what that means. Do you? I don't. You are doing a fine job, Crystal. Choose go to cause. You don't tell me what to do. I'm gonna look at my poor. Aw. I was gonna look at my Pokemon report and I failed. Crystal, can we go to the next course? Yeah. yeah! I can go to the river. Flowing gently, someone might be hiding nearby. That's creepy. Let's go. Yes. You can't just say someone's hiding nearby. It's creepy, Oak. What are you thinking? I don't have a pester ball yet, but I assume after I totally conquer this area with my might. And apples. We might discover some secrets. Come on, someone. I see you there. You're hiding there. You're a little creepo. What do you think? What do you, who do you think you are? I'm not here for your viewing pleasure. I'm here to take pictures of you, not the other way around, jerks. What are these guys doing? What are you doing here? Actually, I didn't even take a picture of him. Should I, should I have been smacking him currently? Let me see if I can. Eh, 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 eh. Yeah, okay, cool. I just need an official, an official tag that says so. Yo, Bulbasaur. I know you're all cool and all, but come over here for a second. I need to take a picture of your face. You should probably lay off the food. Actually, you're looking a little, look a little wide there. And it's not Pokemon wide, if you know what I'm saying. Oh look, Mr. Derpington's over there. Where's Derpina, Mr. Derpington? Yeah, I get it. <laughs> okay. Oh, am I being so? Look at the look at that face. He would be like a good pet. Whoa! I'm sorry. What? Eh. Ooh. Eh, eh, eh. Ah, couldn't get it. There's more, but I really want to get this fishing happening. Yo, I know you're called Slowpoke, but speed it along, son. Come on, come on. Is there another chance? Okay, there's another chance. I'm gonna go ahead and ignore that one. Come on, bud. Come on, bud. Whoa. Hello. Eh. Ooh, almost got him. That guy. Just, uh, I'm just gonna take that just in case. Gonna go ahead and take that for my personal collection. I need that. Uh, I'm not gonna, you know, I don't, I don't have to explain myself. I'm a dignified artist. 
All right, there it is. Slow bro. What's up, dude? There's some legitness. I like this. That's like what, whoa, he just bit him. <laughs> that's weird and cool. I, I like the, that. That's one of my favorite aspects of Pokemon. That sometimes, like, so like technically, uh, what's his name? What's that clan Pokemon's name? I don't remember. But technically, that clan Pokemon, I think it's called like, it evolves to Shelter. It's not it. it it's not named Shelter. It evolves to Shelter. Also, I've missed my chance for Metapods. The most exciting Pokemon to watch, aka the Crescent Green Moon. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, you right there, bud? Oh, eh. Uh, uh huh. No. Um. Eh, eh. Ah, dang it. Wait, what else am I missing? I, I, I don't think I can summon this wall creature without a pester ball. Uh, oh, it's so close. I haven't gotten. Oh, it is called Shelter. So what does it? So what does it turn into? Oh, it turn. It turns into Cloister, right? Yeah, that's what it turns into. I can't do that without pressure ball, so. Whoa, hey, okay. Some really... Oh, oh, whoa. Now that was a legendary Pokemon, if I... If I have to say so myself. A glowing, shiny... Eh. Oh, I think... Well, holy crap, what the heck? Oh, let's see if I can get a center. Oh, oh, oh. It'll come around, it'll come around. Pikachu, where are you? Oh, okay. Oh, oh, oh. Come on, dude. Last chance. Last chance. Ah. Oh some high stakes some high this is a high stakes game you can't you don't understand this isn't just a game it's a lifestyle okay you gotta work for your pictures you gotta throw apples at things you know what i'm saying hey right, what do we got for polywog none of these are really all that great to be honest these are pretty bad uh but uh i mean this one's closest pretty crap tastic i don't remember how to Coax Poliwag out of hiding, but there's Pokemon wide. Got some slow pokes. That one's for me. There it is. Alright, where's shelters? I don't think I got that many shelters. I wasn't really focusing on shelters at all. <laughs> Look at that one. Well, that's a UFO setting if I've ever seen one. Um that one I guess? I don't know. I already have a magic carpet, that one's pretty crap. Slow bro, not bad. This is pretty nice. Those thighs, thunder thighs, Mr. Slow Bro. I didn't get any uh, centered Psyducks, but that's it's a golden one there, so I'll go ahead and take that one. Try it out. Probably won't win, but you know. And I can't forget. I can't forget my special my special shot. That's for me. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Just, just ignore that. Yes. Just ignore it. All right. What's new? This is Poliwag. Yeah, I kind of know. I know that a little bit. Uh, you're the Pokemon professor, but I'm also a competent human being, so... Wait, jump Pokemon is not your Pokemon. isn't in the middle of the frame. Well, it would have been perfect if the Pokemon were in the middle of the frame. Well, it... No, it wouldn't. <laughs> it's actually a pretty bad picture. This is Bulbasaur. I don't think there's any Venusaur or Ivysaur, are, are there, in this game? I don't remember there being that. Oh, my God. Okay, I'm, I'm sure, like, many people have said this before. But during this Pokemon week, I think it's pretty good to uh, reiterate this thing that most people want, I think, at this point. Wonderful. It's literally a brand new, not a remake, uh, just a brand new, super, like, revamped sequel to Pokesnap. Pokesnap 2 on the Wii U, or whatever the heck the NX is. I don't actually know that much about whatever the NX is. I haven't really been looking it up uh, information about the NX. If you know something interesting about the NX, uh, please let me know in the comments. I would love to hear it. Uh, but anyways, Pokesnap 2 on the Wii U is kind of the best opportunity, to be honest, because the Wii U has the whole camera thing and, you know, blah, blah, and you just move the, you literally move the controller around and it's your camera, that would be pretty cool. It's almost like virtual reality or something. This shell is not very great. Wonderful. Apparently it's wonderful and it's impeccable. I, obviously I don't know what I'm talking about. He's the Pokemon for Fred's here. Alright, what do we got for my soul? Hello, bro. Slow down, bro. Whoa. Wonderful. My work is impeccable again. Didn't really break three grand, did I? I don't. I wasn't really paying attention. Whoa, it's Metapod. He used Harden 50 times in a row and won. Wonderful. Wow, I got a good score for that? I don't understand this guy anymore. <laughs> if I don't get a score that beats Metapod. Yeah, okay. Uh huh. 
Yep. Okay, cool. At least I beat Metapod. What the heck, dude? How'd I get such a huge score? Isn't this Speed Pikachu? Yeah, of course it's Speed Pikachu. What the heck else kind of Pikachu would you think it is? Loser. It's like he, this guy. I don't. I don't. I don't know if this guy's all that. All that smart. I don't know if he knows his Pikachu's. Obviously, it's Speed Pikachu. The other one's Bald Pikachu. You know. I, I, I've, I've failed to document a surfing Pikachu yet, but don't worry, he's on my bingo list. He's on my bingo board. Wait, wait, Crystal. Let's return to my lab. All right, what's up, Welcome old back. man? Where's Gary? Not taking pictures. Here is a present for you. Oh, you made me a present. Oh, that's so, that's so generous of you, man. Let's see, what, what's, what you got for me, bro? Oh my gosh, a Pokemon torture device. That's so always what I've wanted. The only thing I've ever wanted was to harm Pokemon outside of Pokemon battles. No, don't repeat your information. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. Alright, let's go to the river. The river. Let's go to the river. And unlock the next area. Hua! Hiya! Pester. I'm pestering you. Because it's a pester ball. Get it? It's almost like if it's a joke or something. But trust me, it isn't. It's just an illusion. It's not even actually funny. There it is. This is what I want. Eh. Eh. Well, maybe it's not what I wanted. I should have waited. I should have wait. Yo. Are you sure this is not poisoned? Okay, he's up. He's up again. Don't worry, folks. No suing is happening today. Not on my watch. Not on my watch. Alright. Excuse me, sir. Am I okay? Wow. I'm sorry. <laughs> Take a picture of his butt behind a stump. I think it's a pretty great A. Some great A photography here. I think some, uh, some really hard hitting, uh, hard hitting journalism. Today, on this, uh, news channel, Bulbasaur's butt was taken a picture of. Was that even a real sentence? I don't know. Get out of my face! Ooh. Whoa, that Slowpoke was unfazed by that pester ball. I think that's why I like him so much. Uh, dang it. I think my shoulder pitch was actually pretty decent. Hiya! Taste it! Taste the fury! Yeah! It probably tastes like grape or something. Because, you know. Oh, I forgot about looking over here. Oh, there's totally something here that I'm missing. Well, I missed my opportunity. I think there's Valplume over there. There's totally Valplume. See, that, that's one of the weird aspects of, uh, of Pokesnap. The, the level design is pretty interesting because there are certain uh, certain set pieces and like things that like draw your attention pretty sure on per I'm pretty sure on purpose and uh, it, it distracts you from other opportunities for taking pictures of other things like Valplume I missed twice in a row without even like really noticing I totally forgot about Valplume was even a thing in this game but here's what I didn't forget Aya! Yeah, Porygon. Just wearing his uh, Metal Gear Solid. Oh, I saw you. By the by, the corner of my eye, I saw you. I barely missed that guy. The second I turned around real quick. Here it is. The Game Changer. The Game Changer. Whoop, whoop. Boop. Here it is. I think <laughs> I think uh, this next part is actually kind of funny. Oh, look at the Pikachu. Oh, look. I'm gonna die. Whoa! I'm so okay with this. It's fine. Alright. So, going into a waterfall cave totally just sends me back to Professor Oak's uh, evil clutches. I don't know. I think it's some sort of conspiracy, but... Uh, you know what I'm... I I'm not too sure. If this Metapod picture doesn't beat the other Metapod picture that I took, I don't understand how this man grades things. Some really cool Porygon pictures. I don't know what's up with them being all camouflaged like that. I don't remember ever hearing, you know, anything about that as a thing. I don't know why I'm. A, I don't need nothing for my album. My album is pristine. I show it to anyone, and in a second they hire me to take pictures of whatever. All right, this should be better. Okay, almost, kind of, almost double, sort of. 900 pose. What's so great about his pose? He's just, he's just running along. He's just running around town. All right, not bad. Twenty-six hundred. Metapod. All right, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. How's the size? Seven hundred and eighty. Okay, we're winning. What's the pose? How is the pose better in the other one? Like, I don't understand the technique. Okay. 
Okay, cool. There you go. I still win. But what's up with the pose, though? I don't understand. You're gonna have to write down a little... I don't know, a little something-something for me to read so I can understand your words you are that you're close. not saying. What? What's wrong with that picture? Wait. There was two Porygons there. Maybe you just didn't see it because they were camouflaged. Alright, I'll give you a pass on that one. Welcome back. Alright, what you got? What's up? You found a split in the path. According to my research, that split should link to a new course. I've also made a link from my lab. Man, quick as ever. Yeah. Aha, now this is the cave. That's what I'm talking about. Yes. Let's do it. Not wasting any time. Like I said, Pokesnap speedrun. Game's done quick. Pokemon Snap edition. Except, you know, it's not true at all. I wonder if I can smack him with my... Hiya! Oh, I missed. Also, I took a picture of nothing. Ooh, Muck. Or, not Muck. Grimer, right? This is, uh, this is totally a Bulbasaur. It's totally straight up a Bulbasaur. And it's nothing else except Haya! Haya! Reveal your true form! Yeah, that's right. It's a ditto. Nobody thought that that would happen. I'm gonna take that for posterity. I don't know if that's even the right word to use. But. Can't really get much closer. I'm not gonna care about the Zubats all that much either. Alright, buddies. Just gather around. I don't know why you've all decided to copy the form of uh, Bulbasaur. But, um, Ratio would be enthralled. Hiya! Come on, I need some multiple dittos. You too, buddy. You too, buddy. Stop flipping. I need some ditto action. Huh! Oh, yeah! Bulbasaur? Not. He's a scam artist. Oh, So cute. There's also a secret over there? No, there's no secret over there. There's a secret somewhere on the left over there. Alright, what, what do I got over here? Nothing? Ain't nothing? I feel like I'm missing something. Oh, yeah. Try a buff. Yeah, like she needs more smoke in her lungs. Uh, he's dead. I killed him. Whoa, there's another one over there. Hey yeah. Uh. Yeah, come on. I think I, if, I think if I save both Jigglypuffs, I I win something. Sorry. You, you gotta get out of the way a little bit. Also, I recently learned. That uh, the same voice actress for Jesse, and uh, there's also some secret. That, that's the secret. What I'm talking about. The the uh, voice actress for uh, Jesse uh, from the Team Rockets is the same voice actress for Misty and also uh, Jigglypuff. So that's a little tidbit for you. If you didn't know that, you're welcome. Also, that's uh, actually I learned that from my brother Mauricio. He was doing some research. What the heck are you doing? By the way. He's just getting freaking wrecked up here. Should I take a picture or should I? I got him. Pro stress. Uh, whatever. I can't get him. Also, I think I just missed out on some. Yeah, I missed out on some jinx. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's jinx before the uh, before the revision. <laughs> Pre-revision jinx. And, uh, I don't know where it's coming from. Ah, here. And this, and this, uh, ladies and gentlemen, is my reward for saving the Jigglypuffs. Actually, I think I missed one Jigglypuff, so. Immediately, I am, uh, gonna smack her in the face. Shut up! Shut up over here! I'm trying to sleep! We're trying to sleep over here! <laughs> Alright, I'm sorry. Feel a little bit bad, but who cares? Cause Pokemon, Pokemon don't have feelings. They're just animals, and we beat them up with other animals. That's fine. They don't have feelings. All right, let's see. So, what is this? That's a picture of Grimer. Please, Professor Oak, tell me how that is. <laughs> I'd be happy to sit down and listen to your stupid wrong excuse. <laughs> All right. So, I feel like that one's probably the best one, actually, because there's three, and it's centered, and, you know, it's pretty far away, but, eh, whatever. Uh, okay, I don't have too many coughing ones. This one's kind of okay, this one's kind of cool. This one, he's, like, shooting out his gases. His gaseous gases. What's up? This one is very vague and obscure. I'll take that one. Oh, dude, check it out! 
Yeah, look at that. Mm, this is not clear. That's what I'm talking about. That's one of those, like, secret monument things I've been talking about. That's what's up. I'm gonna go ahead and mark that in my album, but... Uh, yeah, I don't know what to do with this, but let's, let's just give it to him, see what he says. This is the best picture of all eternity. I officially quit my job, uh, of, uh, grading pic pictures because that's the best thing I've ever seen in my life. That's what he's gonna say about that Zubat picture. So, should I get the pissed off Jigglypuff, or should I get the super cute, happy singing one? For now, I'll do the singing cute one. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and album mark the pissed off one. Because that's just it's priceless. Just look at that face. You can't... I just I can't describe what I feel when I see that. Alright. Also, that is also kind of cool. Let's get it on. Let's get it on. This is Grimer. How's the size? Alright. 250. Well, you know, not surprising. It's pretty bad. It's kind of far away. Technique is right in the middle of the frame. Okay, I got two grand. Uh, not bad. No poses to uh, speak of. I don't remember if I can change Grimer to Muck, but I think... Actually, yeah, now that I think about it, I think there's actually a way to get him to be Muck. And I feel like maybe I just have to spike him with a pester ball right in the face. <laughs> um, Alright, we got some cough in action. 750, okay, okay. Alright, got some techniques. Pyrotechnics! Let me see, this is Weeping Bell. How's the size? 510? Okay. How's the pose? You were close. <sighs> Professor. Professor Oak. Why do you betray me so? Alright, let's see what he says about the pose in this one. I'm actually pretty interested. This is the Zubat carrying the Pikachu. What? Is that special enough for you, Professor? Come on, man. Oh dear, your last shot was better than this. Which picture are you going to put? Well, the one that's better. It's kind of biased. But, I mean, it's literally three times better to score. How do you know this is Jinx? It's just a blob of yellow stuff in a water. You don't know what that is. Wow. Wow, isn't this Jigglypuff on stage? Wow. What I what, what I'm questioning is how I stayed up. Oh, it's singing cheerfully. Really? So there's double pose action or something? What I'm what I'm pondering. Are you pondering what I'm pondering? Because what I'm pondering is how to stay up you know, stay awake through Jigglypuff's resonating singing through the caves. Whoa, I think that's my best score. That might be my best score. Uh, unless the other one was 4,800? I don't remember. I don't remember numbers. Numbers are, you'll find out what the next course is if you take four more Pokemon pictures. Whew, well, uh, let's see what you got from you. Oh, yeah, what's up, though? Press A to do it. Mmm. Uh, I'm sorry, Oak, I just don't, I don't, I'm not into that. Okay, uh, so this is gonna be my last run. I'm gonna go ahead and back, go to the beach. Uh, cause I really want some, hiya! I really want some really good Lapras pictures. But, uh, hiya! But, uh, oh, let me get this dude, though. Yeah, that's right, that's right, I got you, I got you! So it wasn't centered, though. Oh, I gotta get Surfing Pikachu. Here, if you can't follow this line of apples, I don't know what you can follow, Pikachu. Cause, come on. You seem like a pretty smart guy. Sometimes I just don't know with you. Okay, that should be good. I think there's a Pokemon card with him surfing, so that's pretty cool. I feel like that might be considered a. Uh... There's a Kingler. I think that's what it's called, right? Oh, I like Butterfree. Butterfree's kind of cute. Like, this, despite its weird body being all like chubbier and bigger than you would really expect it to be. Not a bad Lapras, but I can get I can get better ones. Raw. Oh, actually, I didn't even, I didn't even uh, remember that I didn't take a Sword Likes picture last time. Hey, Meowth, open your big fat mouth. I like how they made Meowth a New Yorker, basically. Shut up! Eat that pressure ball to the face. Where is he? Where's my friend? My friend? Oh, Meowth, where'd he go? He usually falls down from his uh, pedestal. Oh, well, let's see if we can get a Scytha. So the trick to getting Scyther is having a pest ball and just chucking into this grass here. And uh, you're gonna basically ha gonna have to get lucky. There's a hitbox for it. And you have to try and get it on wherever the rustling leaves are. But it's mostly luck really. I don't know if there's much skill involved just throwing a pester ball. Come on. Well, no Scythers here. Also, this is another special event pose area where two Pikachu start dancing 
like b-boy dancing on on uh, on those stumps it's pretty radical it's pretty radical you guys Okay, so this is a, a better chance for a scyther shot, so let me like, get that. Let me see if I can get this. There's like a smaller area. So randomly chucking pester balls. Come on, buddy! Give me a scyther! Give me a scyther! 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 Oh, man. Oh, well. I better not hear scythers screaming in the back. Oh, whoa! I totally forgot about this! How could I- how could I forget this? See, this is what I'm talking about. Like, stuff just takes your- your- I think the uh, Lapras just happened over here, actually. Come on. Stuff just takes your, um, attention. Yo, Kangish Kang, I got a little something for you. Yeah, that's right. What you got? Give me a cute little baby. Ain't got nothing on me, bro. Alright, so I, I didn't get any Lapras shots. I did get the Kingless shot, I got an Eevee, and I didn't get a Chansey. I could also, uh, one of the special poses also to save Meowth before he gets wasted by those gusts. And uh, he'd be all happy, and then totally eat Pidgey's eggs, which I think is a thing. All right, let's see how much we get. Let's see how what we get on the points. We actually got, we actually sort of got close to the end of the uh, of the game. Um, it's uh, I'm missing, we're missing like two courses. I think there's one course after this, I think, and then and then the last course, which is literally pff, like a boss battle with Mew, which is pretty cool actually. Nice surfing Pikachu. That's actually a nice one. I gotta say, I like that one. Uh, Butterfree. That not. Nah, that's actually pretty nice. It's a little closer. And uh, we got a Snorlax, snoring and laxing. We didn't get much Lapras at all. I don't know if we could consider this better. Let's go ahead and keep that off the record. Let's keep it off the record. We don't need no evidence of that. We don't need no evidence of my my poor my poor uh, camera work here. All right. Let's see here. Alright, I, I, I used to always do that. Like, uh, Kangish Kang is probably one of the best uh, Pokemon to do this kind of thing. You just take a bunch of pictures. Look at me! I poked a little red apple. I should probably get a. Tr uh, I should probably get a doctor to check that out. Actually, I'm worried. Yes. Think of the young. Alright, what do we got? This is the last round of the day. What you got for me, Professor? All right, let's see if we can beat out all these. Uh, heck yeah, you can beat out all my last uh, pictures of this round. All right, so far so good. Come on, give it to me. Wow, wow, isn't this surfing Pikachu? Why, of course it is. I have got the Pokemon card framed on my desk as we speak. All right, so right off the bat, it gives me more money, more points actually. The sides didn't win, but oh oh, I fell behind. Oh. It's not gonna win, I don't think. Oh, just a hundred points shy. Dang, dude. Wait, was I looking at that wrong? Did I just win? Wait, did I win actually? Wow, I must have just not looked at it right. What? I, I don't know. Let's see, we're winning on that size. Okay, the pose is the same. The technique was fine. All right, we got it. Let's see what else we got. Snorlax, well, Snorlax is an original, so. No worries about competing and whatnot. Wonderful! Very impeccable! Eevee! I need me some new Eevee. How's the pose? 750. Okay. Why not? It's in the Wonderful. middle of the frame. That's all that matters when you're taking pictures. Just keep the thing centered, and it's a masterpiece. How's the size? 770. 770. Whoa. 1,000 points. I actually didn't expect 1,000 points. This angry shot is pretty cool. I'm glad you survived that ordeal. Well done. Wow, that's a lot of points actually. 3,540, let's say. 400, well. And there you have it, folks. Oh, I actually almost uh, got the two pictures I needed. Uh, the pictures I needed for um, the new uh, the new place. Uh, let me go ahead and take the course. Take a look at the courses. Yeah, I don't remember what happens after the cave. Actually, I don't remember what the course happens after the cave. But I'm pretty sure it's an, an additional course. Oh, it's the Rapids. Yeah, there's a Rapids level. And then after that is the secret boss fight with Mew. Um, but yeah, there you have it, guys. I hope you enjoyed my Pokesnap video. Uh, this is one of my childhood games. I loved it very much. I played it a lot. And uh, I'm a pro, as you can see. And I speed run the heck out of it. So anyways, my Crystal Ears. I hope you're enjoying this Pokemon Week series as much as I'm enjoying making it for you guys. 
is my first like celebration -y anniversary type series so uh yeah i'm actually having a pretty cool time with this and i'll see you in the next episode in my pokemon week series catch you later will crystal face ever be good at taking pictures what sinister plans are being concocted by professor oak will misty ever get a new bicycle all the answers on the next crystal face pokemon week video